Hi guys, we are continuing with the day three videos of InfiTQ programming fundamentals with Python, and we are in the fifth problem of this particular day, and we are solving the fifteenth problem overall. In the previous problem, we had solved the number of chickens and the number of rabbits. In this one, we have to uh find out the maximum number from num1 to num2 and we have to follow some rules uh the first rule being that the num1 must be always less than num2 and the second one being that uh we have to append certain numbers to a list uh only when they follow particular conditions that is the sum of the digits must be divisible by must be A multiple of three, and the second one being there must be only two digits in the number, and the third one being the number itself must be a multiple of five. So these three conditions conditions only when satisfied between the numbers lying between num one and num two, num two inclusive would be added to a list if, uh, and then if any number is Present in the list, we have to any set of numbers is present inside the list. We have to find out the maximum of that list, and if uh, the list is empty, uh, or in case num one is greater than num two, we have to display minus one. Uh, so let's jump into our Python and let's start coding for this. Uh, so this would be problem fifteen. so let's create a uh, python file with the name problem 15 so in this uh, first we would be writing a function known as suppose uh, get max def get underscore max where we would be spe uh, specifying the numbers as uh, num1 num2 as n1 and n2 and we must make sure that n1 is always less than n2 if n1 is less than n2 then it is allowed to enter in this loop otherwise it would be returning minus 1 that is the violation if it violates the first condition itself it would be returning minus 1 always and now we would be uh, generating a list of numbers that satisfy the particular conditions from n1 to n2 for i in range uh, the, so l is the list for i in range uh from n1 to n2 plus 1 i have to uh, consider all the numbers from uh, in this particular range i am taking uh, since n2 is set to be inclusive so i have to take uh, n2 plus 1 here in order to make it inclusive in the list as well uh, for con consideration for appending in the list as well and now we would be converting the particular number into a list of numbers because we would be performing a operation called sum as we have to find out whether the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3 or not and also we have to find out the number of digits that are present inside the particular number we could do it in a much more conventional manner as i have shown in the videos earlier but now since we are much more used to the fact of using python for our coding so we would be uh, more fo uh, focused on uh, Uh, solving much more difficult problems, and we would be using some functions, and uh, we would be uh, solving it in a much easier and a much more shorter manner. Okay, so suppose n is the list, I would be keeping int d. Guys, look at look at this very carefully. Uh, for d in str of i, str of i. Sorry. Um, What the hell is happening? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so str of i. So this i is the number. I am converting it into a string. D is each character into the in that string, and int d is each uh, element in the list. So I am converting each character present inside that particular string from my number, and I am adding it to a list known as n. So n is the list if sum of n is equal to uh, is divisible by 3 or 
sum mod n uh, sum of n mod 3 is equal to equal to 0 and len of n is equal to equal to 2 that is the second condition the first condition being that the sum of the integers uh, sum of the digits is divisible by 3 and the length of the number is a uh, length of the digits of the number is equal to equal to 2 and the third condition being uh, that the number itself must be divisible by 5 that is i mod 5 is equal to equal to 0 then I would be appending it to the list l dot append i I have appended it to the list and if uh, this particular loop runs and uh, the for loop after complete, completing its execution uh, if I would be checking if the length of the list is 0 or not if the length of the list is greater than 0 then I would be returning the maximum of the list so max of L would be returned and else return minus 1 okay uh, since it was given if the list was empty I would also again return minus 1 so for getting a uh, max so num1 is equal to int input enter the minimum number that would be the first number and num2 would be saved as int input enter the maximum number okay and using this num1 and num2 I have to get the max so print get max uh, I would be providing the parameters as num1 and num2 okay so let's save our code and let's run it actually they haven't provided any provided us with any input cases so let me give the minimum number as 3 and the maximum number as 10 uh, I guess no one would be included because all of the digits are less than two digits if I am giving suppose 15 and 25 I am getting 15 as 15 1 plus 5 is divisible by uh, 3 it is of length 2 and it is divisible by 5 as well so this number is particularly working uh, I guess only a particular set of numbers would be working as if if I am providing uh, 15 and 32 I guess 30 would be there because 3 is divisible 30 is divisible by 5 and it's of length 2 so there are particular numbers uh, so the number first has to be divisible by 5 and its sum uh, of the digits must be divisible by 3 and its length must be 2 so basically 2 digit numbers divisible by 5 sum of digits divisible by uh, 3 uh, that is present between the range of these two numbers uh, and the maximum of it would be uh, printed as a result so that's it for the video guys uh, I hope so you understood the video uh, if you like the video please drop a like and um, thanks for watching the video see you the next time